So there's one thing that Breezy excels at, it's making your design process incredibly simple. And in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create your own video headers. So let's just jump over into WordPress, load up Breezy, and take a look at how we can do that right now. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Okay, so I'm in the WordPress dashboard and I've got my test page open and ready to start editing with Breezy. All I need to do is click on continue to edit with Breezy and then we can start working with things. So I've got my basic page layout and all I want to do now is add in my video header. Now we can do this in a multitude of different ways and the easiest way to start off is just by loading one of their building blocks in and we can then use that to customize things. To do that, all we're going to need to do is click on the little plus symbol at the bottom. That'll bring up the option. Now we can go and choose what type of block we want to put in, whether light or dark, anything we've saved previously or a global option. We're going to filter this down and we're just going to say we want to use the headers. That'll pull up a load of different pre-designed headers all ready for us and I'm going to choose this one with the sort of overlay. We're going to click to add that in there and as you can see it's gone in the wrong position. Well we can rectify that very easily. If we just come over to the reorder block section on the left hand side, drag to reorder it and position it exactly where we want, then close that down by clicking outside. So there's our basic header but as you can see at the moment it's just got a static image in the background. Well we can change that incredibly easily. Up at the top right hand corner you can see we've got this little element that allows us to click and open up a range of new context based options. So we can do things like edit the block, add new blocks in, we can change the backgrounds, the colours and so on. So the first thing we want to do is change the background. So we click on that option, you can see it gives us three separate tabs, image, video and map. At the moment, image is the option that's chosen, so let's just change that to video. And as you can see, it takes out the image from the background and allows us to simply put in either a Vimeo or a YouTube URL. Now, I've already copied the link that I want to use from YouTube, so I'm simply going to paste that into the URL option. Below the URL, we've got the ability to choose different qualities. Now, at the moment, it only supports 1080 and 720, so it would be nice in the future to see some other options in there. Even custom options would be great. We also have the option then to loop the video so we can ensure that it keeps on playing if we've got a very short clip. Obviously this is the kind of thing that's up to you what you want to do with the video clip you're using, so just set those accordingly. And that's how easy it is to put the video in there. But we're not st sort of stuck, stuck there, we can move on from there, we can do some other things. You can see at the moment with this blue overlay that's a certain level of transparency. Well, if we click on the background option, you can see we can go through and choose any different color we want. We can choose any of the predefined colors that are part of our install of Breezy, or we can customize that by using the simple color picker. If we want to adjust the transparency or the opacity, we can do that with the right-hand slider. As you can see, by moving that up and down, we can adjust the level opacity very easily to get exactly the effect that we want. So let's just say we want to apply a darker overlay to this. Let's just choose black. Let's just adjust the opacity on there so we get a nice look. And as you can see now, that makes the buttons and the text look a little bit sort of invisible. So we can easily change that. And this is the beauty of building with the blocks. Nothing is written in stone. We can easily come in, change the color of that, the font, anything we want to make sure everything looks great on screen. Same with the buttons. We can just choose from any of the predefined colors or go in and customize it. We can adjust the text, the borders, the overlay effects, and so on. So let's just click on Update. Once that's saved out, we'll jump over to our test page, refresh that, and take a look at this in action. So let's just jump over, refresh our page for this plain, ordinary background we've got there. Once that's done, you can see all the changes take effect, and the video starts playing. So, very quick, very easy to do. Now, while it's very easy to create these video headers, there are some things that I think are a little lacking at this point, but it is early in Breezy's development. We don't have a huge amount of control over what happens with the video. We don't have the ability to start at a certain point so we can skip out maybe intro parts or outros. So some of these features would be great to see in future iterations of Breezy. Whether that's in the free version or the pro version, I don't really mind because it's worth paying for to get all these extra features. Speaking of paying for Breezy, if you're looking to sort of get in on Breezy at an early stage and save yourself a chunk of money, check out the link in the description below. They're offering an early adopter discount for a lifetime deal that you pay once, 
You can use on as many websites as you want with no limitations and updates forever for an incredibly good price. Check that out. It's an affiliate link, so if you do click and decide to purchase, it gives a small percentage back to the channel to help support what we do around here and create more great content for you covering Breezy and lots of other WordPress-based videos. Well, as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, please pop those in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started and talk about Breezy and its future. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of all the new content we add every single week. And as always, until next time, take care.